Hi and welcome to church. It is wonderful to have you here on this fantastic Australia Day. It is a great day for us to celebrate this nation and it's a great time for us to catch up on what's happening around church in the weeks coming up. I need you to soften my heart and break February 2, we're having our big launch for the year. We're starting Luke's Gospel. I don't think we've looked systematically through Luke's Gospel before. Um, February 2 is going to be about that. We're also going to be having something we've never had before, a ministry expo. Many people have already um, said they're going to help with different kinds of ministries. We're going to have many of our different ministries all set up. We're organising a huge day so that even more people can be involved. February 2, look forward to it. G'day. Well, in the last few weeks of church, we've been considering from the Word of God how we can prepare well for 2014 and, and into the future. We've been looking at that from a parent's perspective as well, a husband's perspective, and how do we care for our, our wives and our children's spiritual growth. I didn't want to just leave you with the Sunday sermon. I want to be able to help you this year, lead your family in devotions, make sure your kids are growing in their spiritual growth. I'm going to be doing that throughout the year. I'm going to start off today by showing you two books and give you some links to some websites. The first book I'm going to show you is A Neglected Grace. Very quick. If you don't want to read it, I've done blog posts for you. I'll be releasing those soon. This has examples in the back of devotionals, prayer stuff. The next one is a fantastic book. It's called Bite, uh, Bible Bites. It's 365 days in the Bible with your family. Now simply, you read a passage, you talk it over, there's an activity in there for younger kids, there's a verse for you to remember, and there's prayer and a challenge, a spiritual challenge. These are two great books, and remember I'm doing a blog post, I'll be releasing that for you guys soon. Uh, and also for the younger kids on your phones, there's a new app that's been released called The Kids Bible. It's brilliant. So come and talk to me. Those links are going to be on the screen and I look forward to helping you guys do that in 2014. Uh, well, friends, uh, growth groups are starting this year, the midweek time for us to get together in small groups throughout the week to study the Bible, to spur each other on in uh, love and good deeds. Uh, we've got lots of different growth groups happening this year for men's groups, women's groups, young persons groups, all sorts of different groups throughout the week. Um, if you'd like to be in a group, there'll be a, a link you can click on in the email that goes out, the church email this week for you to sign up and pick whatever day is best for you and whatever uh, grouping is best for you. You can see that in the church email that'll come out. Um, alternatively, come and chat to me after the service and I'll put your name down for one of the groups. Or in addition to that, you can also fill out the green cards that you would have been given as you came into church today and just say, I'd like to be in a growth group and I'll get in contact with you. Um, so there's three different ways of signing up to growth groups this year online, in person to me, or on the green card. Love you to be in a growth group. If you've got any questions, come and grab me after the service. Um, let's make this year a great year of spiritual growth together as a church. Guess what? School is almost back and we are excited at 180 Youth. We've been away with our leaders, planning, scheming, thinking about how we can better youth. Youth kicks off Friday the 31st of January and we have some great things in store. There's a mail out that has either come your way or it is. So look out for the changes and what we're doing in 2014. Thanks for being at church with us today. There is heaps of exciting stuff coming up at church in the next few weeks and in the next year. So I hope you're really pumped to join us for all of that. Until then though, have a great week. We'll see you next Sunday.